But if you want to succeed in life, advocates, we are fond of saying that, oh, I'm strong, you're going to die. Who says I'm not going to die? But then, is he not going to die? How many of you see not going to die? You know, man, is he not going to die? Why are they still making money? And the very people who deceive you and take money from you will come in the face of Christ. I'm telling you, know, the Lord says we have to keep this. When Jesus. <laughs> the Lord says, I will have to put my own in my own image. I have created you in my own image. So ask yourself, look into the mirror and ask yourself, say, God, is that your image that I'm seeing? If it is not nice to you, tell God. <laughs> so please, Africans, we are considered Africans because of our payment. Let's begin to change our mindset and challenge yourself say that what any white man has done in life, I can do it too. We been in the classroom, former university has the next five percent white. And we were there, this is our culture. As for the economics and the I was sweeping the awards just like that. Three conservative guys. I was in America to go to school. Three. That boy was a sailor. At the age of 33, he knew that time. I knew what I wanted. It's a book, book, book. So I'm begging you. Take your destiny into your own hands and begin to challenge yourself and say that I'm not going to be dependent on God for survival. I want to survive and contribute to the nation. You know, when I was the first time in parliament president for first time, a member of parliament, they were building people's papers and I did not be here. I donated one be here. As you tell me, the man was sarcastic. The gentleman was sarcastic. Now, nice to put it. I'm going to give you the house.
and I think it's no profile because if we want to build this country, I'm sorry, I have to tell you the truth. I have to tell you the truth. If we want to move down, it should be devoid of politics. For the country is politics. Because of that, we are not able to identify people with potential. We are always blinded with politics. That will not help this country. I'm here not because MPP has invited me. I'm here because I love the youth. And the youth has invited me. That is why I'm here. Thank you very much. I'm concerned about the youth of this country and their future. Because growing up, fundamentally I have a classmate here. He was one of the Dadaba students. <laughs> and I was a Java. My first time in the Sunday College, I remember a senior looked at me and my hair was brown, the athletes, everything brown, because from a same position, tables, the road was on top, and 45 minutes from tables to my village took us about four hours to get here. So, my senior, the senior looked at me and he could tell that I could not finish him. Because my head, my head gave me away, my face on the dust. So when we met, in fact, it's also, we were all in the same house. So we know each other very well. It's not a real Although it wasn't bad. It was bad. I took it out of bags. It was a road park manager. And if you don't want to go to the top bus, you have to pay a million provisions. Because you put you there. But you were such a gentleman. You know, and my staff coming from the village, I only used to get to survive and I'm suffering from it. 